investor sentiment towards Nigeria seems enormously positive. If anything, the rally in financial markets has far exceeded the actual improvement that we've seen in the real economy. The Q2 GDP data was a bit of a wake-up call. We know that business sentiment had improved tremendously with improved availability of FX, the stabilization of the currency. Everyone is looking to return to momentum in the Nigerian economy. And what the Q2 data essentially told us, the non-oil performance, is that it's not necessarily going to be a straight line. There is still hard work to be done. The trade, manufacturing sectors, there's a lot of improvement that is still required. Construction is not yet seeing the benefits of federal government spending, let alone other investment. We are confident that the second half of the year is going to be looking better. But the challenge for Nigeria is to do more than just a cyclical recovery. How does Nigeria return to really robust rates of growth? And for now, that is still an open question. It says an open question and the finance minister through the video message said that the government is focused on driving that growth. Um, they look at the debt capital market as a very veritable platform to, to drive that growth through attracting private investments. She's concerned about attracting FBIs and also um, more listings in the capital market. Um, what do you think should be done from the side of the government to really attract these FDIs that they really want to see happening and even listing the market? For now, we've seen the return of foreign portfolio investment. We saw it first with the rally in the equities market. Debt investors seem to be catching up with that. We are seeing enormous interest from foreign investors in the Nigerian market. And as a precursor to potential FDI flows, economic theory tells us we'll see financial markets react first, the real economy later. This seems to be a good sign. It's telling us that we should be able to expect greater FDI. But what needs to be done to secure this? The government can do an awful lot by accelerating the capital expenditure spend under the budget. So far, a lot of the sluggishness in the Nigerian economy has been because of those economic challenges. There is a need to accelerate momentum. And in time, when investors are looking at Nigeria as a real robust growth story again, the FDI will return. Outside of that policy consistency, Nigeria has done well to ameliorate some of the things that were looking a bit difficult, looking like challenges. FX liquidity has much improved. But what reassurances can be given that there will be a different response to any new crises should they occur? So there's a lot to be done on the policy consistency side, but we feel confident that over time, the Nigerian economy will start to grow, we will see a more comprehensive turnaround, and provided the macroeconomic stabilization, the underpinnings of those growth are adhered to at all times, then the FDI should follow.